hello my dear friend you are welcome again to my channel well at this channel i break down complex electrical concepts and make it very simple for your understanding all right so in this particular episode i'm going to talk about why your neutral conductor or your neutral wire in your wiring may give you a shock so recently i had one of my followers ask a question about a neutral wire giving a shock in an electrical wiring yes it is very possible if there is a fault in the wiring a neutral wire can give you a shock and i'm not talking about a short circuit fault i'm talking about an open circuit fault when there is an open circuit in a part of the wiring the neutral wire can actually give you a shock so in this video i'll practically demonstrate to you what can cause the neutral wire to become live and then how you can easily identify that problem and solve it okay so before i go to the practical let's look at this thing you see this is an example of an electrical circuit from the distribution transformer to the consumer installation this is a load before this load works there must be a continuous flow of current from the supply at the transformer through the consumer installation through the load and then current must be able to flow back to the distribution transformer that is a complete circuit so if the current that is flowing through the line is not able to get back to the transformer neutral point then it means that circuit is not complete and then your load will not work normally if a neutral wire will give shock most of the times your load may be off depending on the type of circuit and then how the circuit is wired and then there is another instance where you may have some of the loads working all right but still a neutral somewhere can give you a heavy shock all right so let's go into that now this is a very simple circuit there is a feed line here which supplies power from a breaker in the consumer unit to the switch and then there is a wire here that carries current to the lamp and so the current that flows from the feed to the switch through the switch wire to the lamp must be able to travel back to the source of supply and if that happens then you have your system perfectly working so here there is no fault there is no problem everything is working perfectly now let's look at an instance where the live wire is continuous all right the load is working all right but the circuit is not complete for currents to flow through the live and then back through the neutral to the source before i continue i would have to say that because the neutral point of the transformer is f any current that gets to the neutral in a perfectly working system will now become zero because of the f's potential but then let's look at what will happen if there is a fault in the wiring all right so normally in electrical wiring we may have an overcurrent fault which is mostly caused by short circuit or leakage and then we could also have an open circuit fault all right now this is live from the source this is live to the lamp if there is any open circuit in this live conductor what will happen is that the current will not continue to flow through this live conductor and so current will not even get to the load so when there is a break or when there is an open circuit in this live conductor either between the supply and the switch or between the switch and then the lamp the whole circuit at the load side will be dead there wouldn't be any light anywhere but now let's assume that the live cables between the supply and the switch and between the switch and the load are perfectly working but then there is a break in the neutral wire somewhere so current flows from the supply through the switch and then when we press the switch nothing is happening the lamp is not coming on now because i have created an open circuit in the wiring and that open circuit is created in the neutral wire okay so now this is the neutral wire instead of a complete circuit from the live through the load and then back through the neutral to the supply i have broken the neutral wire to create an open circuit in the neutral line now let's see what will happen so our neutral is not continuous again for the return current to go back to the supply transformer so let's see what will happen because of the break in the neutral when i switch on the lamp 
the lamp will not come on because there is a fault. What fault is it? An open circuit fault. Where did it occur? In the neutral line. So at this point, if the load is faulty, then it means current may not be able to flow through the load. But if the load is intact, let's see what will happen. Okay, so now this is a live terminal to the lamp. When I switch off, you see the light is off. The light in the tester is now on. It's off. It's on. Okay, because the load is perfectly working, current will flow through the load and we want to return back through the neutral. But let's see, because the neutral is broken, that current can no more flow back to the supply source, to neutral. So we will have it appearing at the other terminal here. So you can see this is neutral. This is actually neutral, you see. Just like there was live showing here, the same live is showing here. You see, here. Live. We know normally neutral is not supposed to carry live, but now there is live here. And then when we come here to, you see, this is neutral. You see, and it is live. It is live because the current that is here needs to flow back to the neutral point of the transformer, which is connected to the general mass of the earth, so that it becomes zero. So the same amount of current that is flowing through this live wire will appear here. To be more specific about this, I'll use my voltmeter to check the voltage between this live and then neutral, and then this neutral, and then a good neutral, so that you see. All right, so this is my voltmeter. Let me set it to 750 volts, because all things being equal, I'm expecting 230 volts here. Okay, so this is a good neutral. This neutral is continuous. There is no break in this neutral to the supply. So here, I'll use the black to clip this neutral here. And then this is the line where the switch wire connects to the lamp. So measure the voltage between the live and then the good neutral. Okay, 237. All right. So here, between the live terminal and then the continuous neutral, we got 237. Now, this is the broken neutral. So I'm going to check the voltage between the broken neutral and then this proper neutral. So let's see what will happen. So this is the broken neutral here. All right, so the broken neutral is now giving us 231 volts. So 231 volts. It's obvious that if you mistakenly make contact with this broken neutral here now, you receive a very heavy shock if you are not properly insulated. So that is to tell you that when there is a break in the neutral line and then loads are switched on, the neutral wire that appears from the load side before the break can give you a heavy shock because the current that flows through the load will still be flowing through that neutral. But because there is a break, the current will not be able to continue to the neutral point of the transformer. It is actually the point of the distribution transformer that is connected to air that is called neutral. Neutral means nothing. It's neither positive nor negative. It's zero. This is a normal cable, just like this one. And it is colored with color blue. But because it is connected to the neutral point of the transformer, that is why we give it the name neutral. But the neutral actually is that point that is connected to air where the potential is zero. All right, so now in this particular type of wiring configuration, if there is a break in the neutral, the load will not work. And so you know there is a problem. All right, so here, if the neutral is continuous, the load comes on perfectly. So you switch off, you switch on. Okay, then there is another scenario where you have more loops. And so some of the loads can continue working whilst others are not working. And in that case also, if there is a disconnection in the neutral wire, you may also receive an electric shock. If you 
make good contact with that part of the neutral that is connected to the load. All right, so as you can see here, in this other scenario, there are more than one load in the system. And so the neutral has to be looped from one load to the other. In this case, let's assume that there is a disconnection in the neutral wire at this terminal. So here, let's say there is an open circuit at this point. All right, so if there is a disconnection at this point, some of the loads will not work. For instance, this load will not come on again, but this one will perfectly work. So this green lamp is perfectly working, but this one is not working. It's not working because there is an open circuit at the neutral wire here. And so when this switch is operated, though this lamp is not working, current is flowing through this switch wire, through the load, and then through the neutral. So still, there will be life in this small neutral conductor here. You see, because the current that is flowing through the live want to go back, but the path is not continuous, so it will end up hanging here. Again, let's measure the voltage between this supposed neutral wire and then a proper neutral wire. And let's see if that voltage is capable of giving a shock or not. All right, so as usual, we hook the correct neutral to the black lead like this. And then the red lead goes to the broken neutral here. And here, we are recording 226 volts. 226 volts is very, very much to give a heavy shock if you are not properly insulated. And so in case your bare hands or your bare body touches this point of the neutral wire now, it can shock you. So this is one major reason why the neutral wire in an electrical wiring can give you a shock. When there is an open circuit fault in the neutral, the side of the fault that is connected to the load will still be light. And so if you make contact with that point, you can have a severe electric shock. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have learned something new from this video, kindly share with others and also subscribe to stay connected if you have not yet done that. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.